If you want to know about how you can set floor for ECPM value on new version of AdMob, then please do watch this video till the end. I have created previously a video regarding the same topic, but the video is not so clear and I have not used any kind of voice to explain the process. I have created the video when the new version of AdMob was not regular, rather it was AdMob beta and it was not implemented for every account. It was implemented for new accounts at that time and on Thunkable community most people were asking and searching regarding how to set floor for ECPM value on AdMob beta. And at the time I didn't have any kind of patience to create YouTube videos so I have just created a video with titles explaining the process and it was not so clear and most of the people found it difficult to understand and hence I am creating a new video with my own voice so that you can understand it properly. First of all you should add an app on AdMob. So you should click this option called add app and name your app and choose the platform of your app and after adding the app you will find your apps available here then please select the app and here you can find the apps overview how ads are performing in your app and down you will find add units option where you can find the different ad units that you have created and at the top you will find the option called add add unit then click this option now you have to choose among these three kind of ads I will go by banner ad and here you have to name your ad and after naming your ad you can find advanced settings where you can choose which kind of content do you want to show for your ad and also you can customize the option called automatic refresh whether you want Google to optimize the time for refreshing your ad or you want to just choose the custom option where you have to add the timer and customize the time on your own when you will choose the option called Google Optimize, Google will take care of refreshing your ad. And after customizing all the settings, you have to click the Create Ad Unit option. And when you click on the Create Ad Unit option, you will find that the ad unit ID is now available. And you can use this ad unit ID while creating your app and showing your ads on your app with this ad unit ID. You can create new ad, another ad unit ID by clicking this option called create another ad unit and if you don't want to do so then click the done option and after clicking the done option you will find your ad has been added and now let's add a custom floor for our ECPM value here let me explain you what does a ECPM value mean ECPM value means effective cost per mile which means that how much minimum money do you want to earn for 1000 impressions of your ad which means that when 1000 impressions have been shown from your ad unit then how much minimum amount of money do you want is what we call as ECPM value when you try to set a floor custom floor for ECPM value what happens is that the fill rate will be reduced what does fill rate mean fill rate means that the number of times you have triggered the ad to display the ad and the number of times it was actually the actual ad was shown so this ratio is what we call as fill rate and this fill rate will be reduced and as a result what happens is that the user will see blank ads so it's better to choose a right option while adding a floor for your ECPM value and if you don't have an idea of how the advertisers are paying the ad displayers the money on your con in your country then it's better to leave that as it is hope you have understood that now you have to create a mediation group so to create a mediation group click the option called mediation and it will go to the mediation tab and here click the option called create mediation group and now you have to choose the format so I will go by banner and the platform is Android and click continue now you have to name your mediation group after naming your mediation group you can customize the location where this mediation should work 
if you don't want this mediation to work on all countries and territories then you can choose this option and customize that now you have to select the ad units for which this mediation group is created so click the option called add ad units and now select the ad units that you have created you can select more than one ad unit within a single mediation group and uh, i'm going just by selecting one mediation one ad unit here and click the done button now after adding selecting the ad unit a new option called add sources is now being displayed and here we can add more than one ad network the advantage of using admob is that you can not only display ads from admob rather than you can also display ads from ad colony ad falcon ad phonic and more and you can also add custom events here and after that the real topic that we are discussing right now is setting the floor here you have to click exactly on real time the option below the ecpm when you click this you will find a pop-up is being displayed and here you can you have got an option called set floor where you have to check this box and below here you can find the option to add custom amount or rate for the ecpm value and after adding that a minimum amount is 0 0.001 0 1 dollars okay and after adding that you have to click on confirm and hit the save button so the advantage of me using mediation group is that you can create more than one mediation group for the same ad unit and you can choose the priority of the mediation groups that you have created for example i have created a mediation group called as new mediation one and I have set the floor for the ad units as dollar 0.4 and I have created an, another mediation group called new mediation 2 where I have set floor as 0.3 dollars and now here I can just choose the priority for the different mediation groups of course I will choose the priority as 1 for the mediation group called new mediation 1 where I have set floor as 0.4 dollars so in this way you can use this priority option also Hope you have found this video helpful. It was a little bit disturbance in the background and sorry for that. And if you like this video, then please hit the like button, share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.